Welcome to the WB Mason Post Game Show. Ryan Rucco alongside Jack Curry. We'll hear from Meredith Morakovitz in just a bit. Yankees take care of business today. 6-0 in Game 1 and now a 10-1 win in Game 2. And Jack, all of a sudden, there's reason to smile in Yankee land. Right, Ryan. We go back a few nights ago. And we had an anguished Luke Voigt talking about how the Yankees weren't playing well. He felt embarrassed. He thought that guys needed to step up. Maybe they weren't mentally tough enough. He said the Yankees weren't intimidating anyone anymore. And then, voila, three <laughs> wins later, suddenly, as you said, the Yankees are feeling much better about themselves. And who was the most intimidating player on the field in game two? Luke Voigt. Two home runs, six runs batted in. And I've got a stat for you. Since Luke Voigt's first homer as a Yankee, which was August 24, 2018, he has 51 home runs. Giancarlo Stan and Aaron Judge. They've combined for 49. Wow. I mean, that is incredible. And you think about what Luke Voigt's been able to do this season while the Yankees have been without other key sluggers. And how about the MLB home run leaders? Luke Voigt tied with Mike Trout for the lead with 16 home runs. And moments ago, Luke caught up with Meredith Morakovitz from the field. Luke, the offense clearly trending upward the last three games. What do you think has caused things to click at the plate for you guys? You know, we just had a tough stretch, and we just got to stick to our plan. You know, these guys have been grinding their butts off, and, you know, it's been a frustrating last two weeks. But, you know, sometimes baseball just has its ups and downs, and we were in a super down struggle, and we finally, you know, things started clicking. And, you know, um, I think a lot of guys were trying to get, you know, trying to be someone else they weren't, or try to be someone else, and just go back to have a simple approach, you know, drive the ball all over the field. And, we're seeing that a lot tonight. You know, everybody's hitting, uh, you know, doubles, singles all over the place. So it's fun to watch finally. And you know what? Um, we're feeling good again. So it's, this is a nice, you know, two-game series and obviously a three-game uh, win streak around now. In your case, you were hitting home runs, two of them, six RBIs. But it's not just tonight. You've been consistent all season long. What's led to your consistency at the plate? Well, I've, you know, I'm finally healthy again, and, you know, I feel good at the plate, um, you know, stay, staying in my back hip, making sure I'm guiding out pitches, uh, you know, putting myself in good counts and, um, you know, doing my homework and making sure I'm, you know, getting my good routine on, off the machine, you know, before games, and everything feels good, and, um, um, you know, I'm, I'm just really happy for this team right now. You know, it's it's been rough, rough, you know, sled right now, and, you know, there's a lot of positivity coming out, and we need this, so this is good. It looked as though when you were rounding the bases, you were grimacing a little bit. Aaron Boone said that you had been dealing with some foot stuff. Is there anything that you can do to maintain that and make sure it doesn't turn into a bigger issue for you the rest of the season, Luke? I'm not worried about it turning into a bigger issue. It's just sometimes these doubleheaders are a little bit grinding. It's, you know, it's just a little bit extra on the on the foot right now. But um, I'll be good to go. I, I got a retape, and it felt a lot better um, after that one home run. So. The foot's good. I'll, I'll, I'll be feeling good uh, down the stretch. You know, I just got to grind through it. And, uh, you know, I want to be out here with the boys, so I'll do everything it takes. Luke, thank you so much for the time. You're welcome.